When I ask my students, have you practiced your vibrato, <clears throat> they try to say yes, but in their heart they all know the answer is. They always say, no, not really. And if they practice the vibrato, it's certainly only in a piece. So um, I dedicated some activities that I called Vomit to uh, Gary Carr, the famous bass player, who, um, when I was at a summer program one time, he had all the bassists in the basement, of course, because that's where bassists play. Um, underneath the cafeteria where we had to eat our breakfast, he had them practicing in unison, many of them, hundreds of them, it seemed like. have them do these prolonged shifts and gradually get farther and farther away from the starting note. Um, I didn't think that I'd want to remember that, but as time has gone on, I have realized that a lot of times we don't practice vibrato because we have fingers that don't balance so well, especially as we get into the neck or even into the thumb positions, especially the third and fourth fingers, because I think as we approach and open our arm, we kind of tend to favor this kind of balance rather than being really balanced on top of the finger. Where the finger is rounded and springy and able to bear the weight at the very end of the finger and still still have springy knuckles. So um, in honor of Gary Carr, the vomit series, uh, when I'm working on introducing vibrato, it's a shifting motion, and the first vomit uh, my students usually have a sticker where the fourth position harmonic is indicated and where their fourth finger is in first position. So if we start on this note in second position, it would be called G, shifting one whole step to A. This would be the starting position for this action, which can be taught without the bow. Feeling is like you're um, erasing the spot with your finger pad. You don't have to have the string quite all the way down if it doesn't feel good to do that. So the next step is, we've got this motion, we want to introduce the feeling of a pulse. So I'll set my metronome on something about 84 beats per minute. And I'll ask the student to play with the metronome, the pulse here, and the quarter note, and I'll ask them to play the eighth note. And I'll help them do this, because this might be hard for them to do. to sustain this motion 
with a pulse in a rhythmic way. I do double time vomit each finger. exercises. A more advanced one that would be appropriate for an intermediate level cellist is more of the classic vomit. The classic vomit is going to start in first position with first finger to start out with and you're going to shift up by a half step at a time, increasing the distance you shift by one more half step. If I started on E, my, in, my stopping place will be the octave E above. The rules are that I'm going to try to keep my finger really, really uh, soft and springy. And I'm going to try to imagine a guy standing here that I can do a karate chop on the heel of my hand against this guy. I'm going to try to keep the vibrato very vomity. Like, that's going to make me feel like it's really, really loose. Thank you. 